Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about homoscedasticity as one of the Gauss Markov assumptions. So what do we mean first of all by homoscedasticity? Well, in fact we mean homoscedasticity of our errors, which means that the vari variance of our errors given our independent variables x is constant. So if I was to think about there being some relationship between y and x and I had some sort of sample of data which looks something like this and then perhaps if I fit a straight line to this data so I'm using a sort of linear model linear in my independent variable x then we can sort of think about the errors which our model is making are basically constant across our independent variable x. They're basically the same as I increase my x variable. They basically both, all, all the errors lie within these sort of straight error bars. Well, we can contrast this with the circumstance whereby if we had heteroscedastic errors. So here it would be the case that if I had some sort of y and x and I had some points, uh, some data points, which basically as x increases, there was a larger variance in y. If I then go ahead and fit a straight line to that data, so perhaps my straight line would do something like that, we can see that the errors which our model is making are basically increasing in magnitude as x increases. So if I sort of fit a sort of error line um, indicating where sort of my errors or the direction of increase of my errors, then you can see that my errors are increasing along my x variable. So here, this is what we call heteroscedasticity. So homo in this context means that the errors are the same. So that's this sort of case. And hetero here means that the errors are different. Well, mathematically, how do we write that? Well, we write that the variance of our errors, ui, given our xi is some sort of function of xi. It depends on xi. Here it's some sort of positive function because as my xi increases, my magnitude of my errors increases. So why do we care about our errors being homoscedastic? Well, as I said, it's one of the Gauss Markov assumptions and if it is violated, it means that our least squared estimators are no longer blue. In particular, they are no longer best. So there are other linear unbiased estimators which have a lower sampling variance. So intuitively this means that there are other estimators which are linear and unbiased which more often or more frequently than least squares will get closer to the true population parameter. And the intuition from this is that essentially if I've got heteroscedastic errors there is some sort of information which is inherent in my system which I'm not including in my model. And perhaps if I include that information into my model, so I include the fact that I expect my errors to be bigger as x increases, then perhaps I can come up with an estimator which actually gets closer to my x values, or will get closer rather to my y values more of the time. So that is the sort of underlying intuition for why heteroscedasticity means that I can construct another estimator which has a lower variance than least squares. In the next few videos, I'm going to give some actual practical examples of where heteroscedasticity arises, and that's going to conclude our discussion of the Gauss-Markov assumptions.